Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, hi my name is Mina and I mainly do student content. So if you're a university or college student, I hope that you can find some inspiration on my channel. As promised in my last video, I uh, will be doing a desk tour today. I have quite recently updated uh, my desk setup um, because I have bought a new iMac. So I'm already sitting at my desk, uh, although you can't really see a lot, but I have my um, bookshelves right behind me. Um, so I have everything ready to grab that I need for some studies or if I want to take a reading break. I have my biggest plant right next to me. My general setup is pretty basic um, because of my glass desk. I don't have any shelves underneath, um, so I just have what is on top, um, which is my iMac, <laughs> of course, um, a mouse pad with uh, the mouse and then the keyboard for the Mac. I'm still debating if I want to leave my Mac up here or if I want to put it down on the desk, um, but I've noticed that, well of course the screen is quite big and my desk isn't very like deep, we say in Germany, I don't know, wide, so um, it's pretty like in my face if I have it on the desk, so I thought it might be a good option to have it on the windowsill and um, so I have a little bit more distance, so I'm trying both. Let me know in the comments uh, which uh, setup you like best and what looks better in your opinion. Then I of course have my water bottle. It is the one that I've showed you before, uh, which has the time code on the back. Um, so I always uh, remember to drink enough, um, so in the end of the day it, I should have drank two liters. Then let's do it left to right, so on the left I have my pencil uh, glass <laughs> stand. <laughs> there are the ones that I use regularly. Then I have my beloved bubble candle because it's so cute. To the right of my Mac I have a scented candle that I just recently got. Um, because my old one was empty after a whole year. I burned it like almost every day studying at home um, and it smelled so good that I got um, a like almost the same one again. It's from H&M Home. Almost behind the, the bookshelves I have a kind of sorting system for um, yeah like college blogs and mail that comes in. Um, so if I get a like letter in the mail, I usually put it there first and then when I uh, do my like general to-dos, I pick it out of there and then, I don't know, answer or whatever action is needed. Okay, let's get to the bookshelf. I put in this lamp for a kind of um, indirect lighting system. <laughs> uh, I will insert the night version because then you can see it way better. On the bottom I have my like filing systems, all the paperwork and documents that I use or need. Then there are all my books. Um, I think I've already explained why I turned them around, but it's just because uh, they have so many different colors and I think it's like visually cluttered if books are like too colorful or at least for my uh, taste. Um, that is the case, so that's why I turned them around, because now they're like monochrome uh, beige tones, uh, which is soothing for my eye at least. And I have of course sorted them in a way that I can find everything again. Um, so I have one shelf for like German classics, then I have another shelf for English classics, I have one for my favorite books, which are the ones that aren't turned around up there. And yeah, there's one section which has the books that I'm currently uh, working on or that I need for a university. Um, so if also if I get something from the library, um, if I'm working on an essay or a thesis or something, I put them in this shelf. And then we have my two boxes which match the bubble candle on the left, which is very cute in my opinion. And they are just these two cute crates and in there I have like 
everything you need like stationary stuff so for example some washi tape um, like a pencil sharpener envelopes for letters uh, stamps my passport and like stuff like that <laughs> just general stationary things and then on the right here i have my jewelry box which you already know if you follow me on instagram which you should do <laughs> uh, i like posted a reel where i organize my jewelry box um and on top i have my favorite analog analog camera and that's that something i forgot to show you to the left of my desk i have a little paper basket um which i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep there uh, i just had this spare basket so i thought i'd put it to use like that but i actually have like a bigger bin which is hidden away in one of the corners of my room um so it's actually unnecessary to have two last but not least i wanted to show you my new desk chair which i'm in love with because it's it's just so pretty um it's a in english you also use the german word uh, freischwinger i don't know <laughs> if it's really correct but i've read that a lot um so it kind of bounces a little bit but not too much which is also very comfortable and it has this like nice fluffy material but it's not too soft so i can sit perfectly on it while typing away and writing something or studying or whatever something else that in my opinion should be included in a desk tour is my desktop here it is one thing i'm not sure about yet uh, is where i'm going to put my macbook uh, while it's not in my backpack for university because i have said before and that's still my plan to at home work on my iMac and then at university use my MacBook but if I kind of need to use both I will just put it uh, on my desk as well the MacBook I mean um, but if I don't use it then but keep it at home I'm not sure yet maybe on this shelf uh, behind me so it's always ready to grab so that was a very quick um, desk setup I hope uh, you liked it and if you did please leave a thumbs up that would really help me and if you like my general content please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in one of my next videos so have a nice day and see you then bye